I play Minecraft. Every single day, to be exact. I also make videos of Minecraft. So I'd say it's fairly inevitable that I'd want the game to look nice. And don't get me wrong, I do not mind Minecraft's default graphics. I've <laughs> I've done my best to actually replicate them under the mountain of mods I have. But I've also always felt that Minecraft's graphics are more of an 80% level of perfection to me. And thankfully, Minecraft is not a game short of many wonderful fan-created mods and resource packs and cool other stuff. So therefore, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my favourite aesthetic graphics enhancing resource packs and mods that just throw in a little extra touch to Minecraft's appearance. So if you please, you can make your game look like this, this, and ooh, this. Of course, whether or not you use these mods very much comes down to personal preference, though I have been asked a few times before what I do to make my game look the way it does, so I do not mind sharing some of my favourite methods as my list of mods I can't play Minecraft without grows longer and longer. First up, we have the Simply No Shading mod created by Starts Mercury, and it adds simply no shading. And that's not a bad thing. Without the mod, Minecraft looks like this, which you definitely know. While it doesn't look bad, there is that darker element to a lot of things. It's not very saturated, it's it's a bit gloomy sometimes. Personally, especially as a content creator who wants their videos to look good, I tend to enjoy a much more vibrant and cartoony look to Minecraft than there already is. So if we turn on Simply No Shading, bam. You will notice that everything's a lot more saturated, it's a lot more vibrant, and it's got rid of that much darker shadow on some faces of all the blocks. However, we can take this a step further if we please, because if I press this button, the same then applies for entity shading. Look at me! I really like this because my skin stands out nicely. This also applies to mobs, non-moving entities such as paintings, and even custom models if you have those. It also makes thumbnails look great. If you were someone who used Optifine back in the days when people used Optifine, you may notice it is very reminiscent of the internal shaders from that mod, which were in fact a reason that to this day I still cannot play Minecraft with block shading, so thanks Optifine. If you enjoy a much more vibrant look to Minecraft, I cannot recommend this mod enough. On to the next one. The next mod I'm going to be fanboying over today is Better Clouds. I'll give you three seconds to guess what it adds. BETTER CLOUDS! Normal Minecraft clouds look alright, but these ones, oh, these ones, are better clouds. What I love about this mod is how it takes Minecraft clouds, makes them super fluffy and puffy, and in a way, they still look Minecrafty. They are beautiful, well blocky. Just like me! This mod is very customizable depending on how cloudy you like your clouds, and makes a lovely view for when you're flying 200 blocks in the air in a minecart relatable Minecraft situation. I like fog. So isn't it fantastic that our next mod is all about fog? This is simple fog control. And now this is a kind of mod that just makes you want to take screenshots all the time. Not me though, I don't take many Minecraft screenshots at all. This mod improves how Minecraft fog works with a ton of customizability options. You can set an end point and a start point for all those beautiful hazy distant views. 10 out of 10, would fog again. Although, of course, I can't mention simple fog control without giving an honourable mention shout out to Bobby. Uh, yeah, look at Bobby doing its thing, bobbing all those chunks. Fantastic. Bobby is a mod I can recommend to pretty much anyone who plays on a server and would like a nice extensive render distance. You see, most servers will run on a lower set render distance due to wanting to ensure it doesn't get overwhelmed by a load of people loading a load of chunks. For example, here on the Unorthoblox server, we run a render distance of 12, which is great for performance, but I, I can't see very far. I think there's like a house there or something. And while usually you wouldn't be able to up your render distance past that of what the server has set, the Bobby mod by Johnny0702 caches the chunks from servers you've played on to your clients, therefore allowing your game to render a lot more chunks of whatever server you are playing on. Oh, look at all these chunks go! Yay! Allowing you to see quite far. Due to Bobby also allowing you to override Minecraft's default maximum client render distance of 32, by uh, quite a bit, though play at your own risk if you do so in regards to your computer strength. <laughs> Next up is actually a resource pack. Ooh. 
Ooh. This is a white outline shader by Geeky S2, and it adds a subtle, shiny white outline to everything. Blocks, mobs, me. It is important to know that once you equip this resource pack, you will need your graphics on Fabulous in order for it to function, and once it does, ah. Oh beautiful. It's very much a preference this one, as it can take a bit of getting used to to play with, but to me, where it really shines, haha, <laughs> because uh, it, it's literally shining, is thumbnail screenshots. You will see this same outline gleam effect on a lot of Minecraft thumbnails as a way to make them pop. So an easy way to just enable this effect in game is a really lovely way to elevate your screenshots in my opinion. Now there's one floor. Where have my clouds gone? When I first started using this in 1.20.1, it worked fine with my clouds, but now here in lovely old 1.21, turning on the fabulous setting for the outlines just turns off my better clouds. So fortunately, nowadays I have to have uh, one or the other. So I just save it when the outline's on. It's a clear day. If anyone knows a fix to this, please let me know. That would be amazing. And last but not least, we have an honourable mention for something you've probably just seen me be using in the background of this video so far. Yep. Autumn leaves. AKA okay, fall for people who call it that. This one's an honourable mention because it's very seasonal specific and also very preference based. I do not blame anyone for not wanting to play with this on, but I am admittedly a sucker for that autumn aesthetic. So lately, as we get further into the season, I have been enjoying all these colourful leaf variants. Thanks to this resource pack. This is Full Pack by Future Azu. If you're as extra as me and actually change the look of Minecraft based on the IRL season that's currently happening, you'll enjoy this. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to make a nice looking game look nice. If you have any aesthetic enhancement enjoyments of your own, do let me know in the comments. I'm all ears, despite not having any. Toodle pip!